Hello? So, how far are you guys? Not too far. Maybe four or five minutes if I remember correctly. And your girlfriend is with you? Yes. Rain is her name. She's nice. Is she pretty? <laughs> yes, Charles. She's pretty. Good. I want you to meet my friend, too. Okay, great. Is she pretty? It's a she, not a she. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't wait to meet him. Hey, listen, buddy. I'm gonna hang up now. I should be there in just a few minutes, okay? Okay, hurry up. Remind me, how long has it been since you've last seen your brother? Almost six years, at least. Have you invited him to your white coat ceremony? Not yet. I think that's something I'd rather do face to face. Once our parents died, I couldn't afford to keep them in the state facility, even after I sold the other house. And he loves it here, so I didn't think it'd be a bad idea to let him move in it. Is he okay being left here alone? Especially in his condition? Yeah, I mean, he's high functioning from what his doctor told me. His doctor sees him once a month, and as long as he's on his meds, he's okay. I sure did, bro. I told you I would. Charles, this is Raina, my girlfriend. Raina, this is my big brother, Charles. Hey, Raina. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm Charles. It's so nice to finally meet you, Charles. Yeah. May we come in? Uh, come on. Sorry, I didn't clean you up, Jerry. I was just too excited. It's fun. How have you been? Okay. I guess I haven't been a good boy lately. Why would you say something like that, Charles? Dr. Lipton was angry with me. He said, I'm supposed to remember. Remember what exactly? My medicine. Keep forgetting to pay for it. Sorry, I keep forgetting to pay for it. Do you not have the money to pay for your medicine? The state sends him money for his living expenses, including his medicine. He should have plenty. Have you not been getting your checks, Charles? I don't know. Let me go check the mailbox real quick. I'll be right back. It's okay, Charles. Jared just wants you to be okay. We both do. <laughs> Can I call you Chuck? Well, I don't like Chuck. The mean boys used to call me Chuck. <laughs> but I'm not a mean boy. I'm a nice girl. Yeah. <laughs> so, when is your friend coming by? His name's Freddy. He's already here. He gets a bit too shy. Meeting new people. Come on, I'll introduce you. Shouldn't we wait? Come on. Right now? Right now! Charles? <laughs> well, that explains the smell. <laughs> Oh my god. What did you do? Please go. 
you do. Tell me this is not happening. Not right. Not again. What do you mean again? What? You just said, not again. Has he done this before? The fact is, Charles killed someone before. Yeah. When we were just kids. Our sitter. It was an accident. But they had him under observation for years. And you chose to keep me in the dark about this? Like I said, this was when I was still a kid. His meds are mainly to keep him even. Keep his emotions on an even keel, just in case. He's usually really gentle and loving. What are we gonna do? What should I do? The last time this happened, our father got hit with a lot of legal trouble. We almost lost everything. Now that both of our parents are gone, I'm his legal conservator. Let's just calm down and think about this. I don't know. I mean, I should call someone, right? The police? His doctor? I really messed up. Didn't I, Jerry? What did you do it, Charles? He was my friend. My very best friend. Maybe he was upset with me because I kept forgetting to take my medicine. <laughs> Let's just all calm down, okay? Hey, can I talk to you outside for a minute? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jared, we have to do something about this now. Don't you think I know that, Raina? I don't know what to do, though. This is murder committed by your brother, and we're the ones who found the body. But no one's going to believe that we had nothing to do with it. We need to weigh all of our options before we make any haste decisions. We're innocent. Of course we are. But who's going to believe us? We're gonna have to fight years of legal battles just to prove that we had nothing to do with this. And that's not counting what you told me earlier about what happened last time he did this. Think about it. You've worked so hard to get to the point where you're at now. You're starting medical school in just a few months. Is this really something you want your name associated with? What are you doing? Wait, don't shoot!
that guy was going to kill you, Jared. At the very least, he would call the police, which would be just as bad. What are we supposed to do with him? I'd say we can fit both bodies in there, right? time to get our story straight. This is it. It's probably nothing. <laughs> Look! There's still a chance they don't know what happened. But if they do, there's only one way out of it. And I know you're not gonna like it. But Charles is gonna have to take the rap for both murders. brother is mentally challenged. He will never have to face real jail time. They might put him in a mental institution, but that's it. Think about the amount of Make any difference, right? <laughs> hey, folks, you must be Charles' brother and his girlfriend. I'm sure of Griggs, he's been talking about you all week. Yes, I'm Jared. Jared, that's right. I think I remember you when you were little. <laughs> I don't suppose you remember me, do you? But your father used to bring you and Charles into my father's shop. We used to stay on the ice cream parlor back then. <clears throat> Charles spoke a lot about you. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. He used to tell almost everyone in town that you were coming to visit. <clears throat> oh, sorry. That's Raina, my girlfriend. Hello, young lady. Nice to meet you. Charles is quite popular around here. Almost everyone knows him. And as you know, your father, he was friends with most of the township. <clears throat> we all got very involved with Charles when he passed. I'm glad to hear that. I feel bad. I couldn't be here for him. Oh, no, we understand. You were young and had to leave for college. Well, what can we do for you, Sheriff? We come out to see how Charles was doing and to ask if it wouldn't sound weird, but there's a person missing. His name is Freddy. He was very close with your brother. So we thought we'd come out and see if he knew anything about Freddy's whereabouts. <clears throat> and again, it's probably nothing, but we had to come out and ask. I've got an officer out looking around the property. I don't know, you guys might have saw her when you were coming in. No, we came around the back, but what exactly are you hoping to find snooping around the property? A body. We didn't know what to do, but we were gonna call you guys. Charles, 
He was really excited for us to meet his friend, and so were we. But then when we asked him to... Sheriff, you said you remember me and my family. So you must remember what happened to our nanny back when we were young. Yes, the events of the day have left scars in my brain. How can I forget? Well, it happened again. This Freddy guy that you're looking for, I don't think you're gonna find him because he's dead. See, when I told him that I was bringing my girlfriend to meet him, he was very excited and said that he had a friend that he wanted us to meet. When we got here, we asked him about it. He took us to where his friend was. We drove somewhere deep in the woods. We thought it was some sort of joke that he was trying to pull off. So we just played along until he started digging. So when we noticed the first body. There's more than one? Yes, and possibly more. We didn't know what to do, so we just took off. He kept on calling one of them Freddy. Did one of the people look like him? Yes, I believe so. He killed those people, Sheriff. Hmm. Dispatch, come in. I need to confirm a certain detail about last night's incident at the morgue. How many bodies went missing? One. Are you sure? Positive. One body of Frederick Holmes. Sheriff, what's going on? Freddy, the man you claim your brother killed? was your brother's best friend. Best friend. But Freddy died five days ago from a stroke. And then last night, someone broke in the local morgue and stole his body. And I came by to ask him if he had anything to do with that. So you have to understand why I look confused. Because the story YouTube just told me makes no sense at all. Spencer? Spencer, come in. Spencer! Spencer is gone. Sooner or later, you're gonna find that out. We can't go to jail. What have you done? We had no intentions on killing anyone. We found a body and assumed that Charles had killed him. And things got out of control when we tried to get rid of it. We can still fix it. everything that belongs to us and leave them here they won't think twice about looking for us when they find a dead cop in the house of a guy who they assumed it was stolen a dead body Mm-hmm.